of men for a thousand years in your sight are like a day that has just gone by or like a, a watch in the night you sweep men away in the sleep of death they are like a new grass of the one morning though in the morning 
it springs up new. By evening, it is dry and withered. We are consumed by you and terrified by your indignation. You have set our iniquity before you, our secret sin, in the light of your presence. All our days passes away under your wrath. We finish our years with a month and the length of our days in 70 years or eight. And if we have strength, yet their span is but trouble and sorrow for the quickened past and we fly away. Who knows the power of your anger? For your wrath is as a great as a fear that is due you. Teach us to number our days, all right, that we may gain a heart of wisdom. Renate, O oh Lord, how long will it be? Have compassion on your servants. Satisfy us in the morning and with your unfailing love, that we may sing for joy and be glad all our days. Make us glad for us as many days as you have afflicted us, for as many years as we have seen trouble. May your deeds be shown to your servant, your splendor, our, your splendor hour to their children. May the favor of the Lord our God rest upon us. Establish the work of our hands for us. Yes, yes, establish the work of our hands. Amen. Amen. We all bowed our hearts and we call Pastor uh, Apostle David Lawson Brown to pray for us. Yeah. Everlasting Father, we thank you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. At this moment, we call upon your name, for you have said in your word, It is appointed unto man to die once after that judgment. On this day, you said, dust will go back into the dust, ashes into ashes, but the Spirit will go back to the Maker. Today, Scripture has been fulfilled in the life of our brother Patrick. As we commit the dust back to the dust, we pray that may you receive the Spirit, and may the Spirit of Patrick rest in the bosom of Abraham. On that day, on that glorious day, we shall see him again. Until that time, we say, may all glory and honor be given back to you. Even in Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Amen. I declare to you, brethren, brothers, that flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of God. None does the perishable inherit the imperishable. Listen, I tell you the mystery. We will not all sleep, but we will all be changed in in a flash and in the twinkling that the trumpet will sound the dead will be raised imperishable and we all will be changed for the perishable must clothe itself with the imperishable and the mortal with the immortality when the perishable has been clothed with the imperishable and the mortar with the immortality then the saying that it is written will come will come true death has been swallowed has been swallowed up in victory where oh death is your victory where oh death is your sting the sting of death is sin and the power of sin is the law but thanks be to god that he gives us the victory through our lord jesus christ Therefore, my dear brothers, stand firm. Let nothing move you. Always abide yourself fully to the work of the Lord, because you know that your labor in the Lord is not in vain. For we know that if our earthly house is this tabernacle were dissolved, we have a building of God, a house not made with hands, internal in the heaven. Amen. Amen. Now, as much as 
it has been pleased the Almighty God by this great mercy to take our brother Patrick from us to take his soul and his spirit to dwell with him our dear brethren and sisters as we depart we commit his body to the ground earth to earth and ashes to ashes in such certainty hope in such certainty hope of the resurrection through our lord jesus christ who shall change the body of our humiliation that it may be like unto the body of his glory according to the mighty working whereby he is able to submit to all to himself in the name of god the father the son and the holy spirit in jesus name amen amen let's bow down our head to the soul and the spirit of our dear beloved brother son father colleague unto the name that is above every name Patrick Kwame Safo. Today, we commit you into the hands of the Almighty that the spirit and the soul has been taken away. And as we place the body into the earth, this body does not belong to anyone again. Therefore, we stand in the name of God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And by the blood of Jesus, place embargo on this body. That no demon, no power will be able to take this body in a performance and orchestration of anything. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we call it down. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Amen.
may have perfect communi communication of the blessings of the Spirit into internal glory through Jesus Christ our Lord. O merciful God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who is the resurrection and the life, through your wonderful love, you gave us your only beloved Son, in you, in whom whosoever believes, though he dies, shall live in him. In him we receive comfort. Therefore, why we are present here by the graveside of our brother, Patrick Suffolk, we are so sorrowful and as men without hope. We beseech you, O Father, to raise us from the death of sin unto the life of righteousness, that when we leave this world, we may rest in you as it is our hope, as you have done for our brother, Patrick Suffolk. This, our, this is our brother that has, that has departed from us, and that at the general resurrection, in the last day, we may be found acceptable in your sight and receive the blessings which your beloved son shall pronounce to all that love you and fear you, saying, Come, blessed children of my father, receive the kingdom prepared for you from the beginning of the world. Grant this merciful father through our Lord Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Now, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of, the love of God, the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now, today, and forevermore in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.